Well, it's an obvious understatement, but Carolina fans nevertheless love to hear it. Their Gamecock football team is on one heck of a roll right now. Carolina ranked third in the country, second highest spot ever after that 35-7 thrashing of Georgia. On Monday, two Gamecocks honored by the SEC. Senior center TJ Johnson is the conference's offensive lineman of the week. And for the second time this season, sophomore Ace Sanders is the league's co-special teams player of the week. The UNO returned a punt 70 yards for a back-breaking touchdown, second time in his career he's done that. Boy, it was hard to beat the atmosphere at the Bryce Saturday night. Record-setting crowd that had all day to gear up for the game, from college game day in the morning to tailgating in the afternoon. The home team inspired and routed the overmatched dogs. But despite the happy, happy joy joy going around the 803 right now, the head ball coach says let's keep things in perspective. Uh, but obviously we're, we're in good shape right now. No, I don't think we had any injuries to speak of. Uh, so we'll, we'll see where this, uh, this leads us. Uh, one thing we'll have to guard against is everybody telling us how great we are right now, which uh, when, you, when you win convincingly, that's what happens. So hopefully uh, as coaches and players, uh, we, we can understand that we can play like we played that first half at Kentucky if we're not really totally into it. Meanwhile, Georgia goes back to the drawing board. Rough weekend for Dogs quarterback Aaron Murray. Terrible game in williams Bryce. But to put in perspective that this is only a game, he found out Sunday his dad has a form of cancer. He had surgery today. Also, and this is really a shame, uh, some knuckleheads decided to egg and toilet paper the house Murray shares with teammate uh, Christian Robinson. Not good. Clemson has new life in its quest for another ACC Atlantic Division title thanks to Florida State's stunning loss to North Carolina State. Tigers and Seminoles each have one loss in the conference. Now, it's still an uphill climb. Clemson needs to run the conference table and hope FSU loses one more time in the ACC. But things sure are better now than a week ago at this time. The Tigers did their job Saturday, winning a shootout with Georgia Tech. Clemson's defense wasn't great, but it did make key stops at times. Tech's defense was so bad, the program fired its defensive coordinator, Al Groh, on Monday. Post-game, Dabo says the haters need to check out because this team has what it takes to do something special. We're not a, a, a great team or a great defense or a great offense yet, but, but I think we got a chance to be. I really do. And uh, that's one of the things that I've asked the guys to do was to was – to, you know, pay the price that greatness requires. And because uh, it's a price, you got to pay it. And it's, it's not it's how you practice, it's how you meet, it's how you eat, it's how you sleep. It's the people you surround yourself with, it's the things you read. Uh, it's, it's which dog you feed that lives inside of you, the good one or the bad one. And, uh, you know, those, those are the things that, that good teams do. Between the, the feeding the dog and the fat thing, I'm getting really hungry. Uh, sure, the preseason Super Bowl newspaper ad was a cute touch, but most Panthers fans were realistic coming into 2012. Maybe not a Super Bowl, but surely a push for a playoff spot. But all that's going up in smoke right now before our very eyes. The punchless Panthers now 1-4 and four after a dismal showing Sunday against Seattle. Carolina held without an offensive touchdown. It's only score thanks to a pick six by former Gamecock, Captain Munerlin. The Cats had a chance to win late, but on fourth down, instead of a sneak with Cam Newton, the quarterback bounced a pass, which ended the home team's hopes. It may seem like Ron Rivera's captaining the Titanic right now, but according to him, the iceberg is not that big. This by, by no stretch is done. I mean, this is one and four, and, and we're not going to quit. We're going to show up, and we will be back on the job tomorrow. Uh, we will find answers, and we're going to win, and, and, and we will. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, it, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of us putting it all together, and, and I really do believe that we have enough quality football players in that, in, in that locker room. Well, he obviously believes it. I don't know if the, uh, the players probably do. I'm not sure. Some of the fans may be starting to jump off that bandwagon. Uh, one NFL note, Elshon Jeffrey, former Gamecock receiver for the Bears, a uh, broken hand. So he's going to be mean. out four to six weeks. Ah, so well, hopefully a speedy that. recovery for him. Well, hopefully right. the, 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 uh, kid, the Panthers can get this thing done. They, they keep coming so close. Yeah, and they've and had some close crumbles. games, and, and they, they can't get it done some at the end right now. Yeah, that's right. That game with the Falcons, yeah. ouch. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Rick. Anyway, uh, final check of the fort.